My name is Mark Bolas, and I'm a researcher here at ICT, and at the same time, I'm a professor in the School of Cinematic Arts on campus. At both places, I have labs that focus on immersion, what it takes to really make a person feel like they're in a virtual world, what it takes for them to react and respond to computer graphics and computer elements as if they were real. ICT has gathered a fantastic group of researchers and artists that, from my perspective, work in three areas. If we look at it in terms of virtual humans, the first is to make a virtual human act properly, to have them have an emotional model that is appropriate for a human. But in addition to acting, we want them to look proper. So we've got world experts in making the graphics such that the virtual human looks just real. But there's a final step, and that's where my work comes in, which is making that virtual human that now acts right and looks right pop off the screen and into our world. You child, what is that loaded wagon? In all of our work, space is uh, critical. It's almost a new form of architecture of how one reads a space and how one can use a space for simulation. What we're trying to do there is making a smaller real world space feel much larger in the virtual world. So a uh, video game is a small example. You can use your joystick controller and travel miles in a video game. How can we accomplish something like that, but with your physical body so that you felt as if you've walked, let's say, a mile, even though in reality you've only been within the confines of our lab? What a lot of this work is about is bringing us into the world of these computers and making them speak our language, making them react to my motions, not making me force motions that they understand. What I'm really finding fantastic at USC in both laboratories is the ability to take the technology and to then merge it with these amazing storytellers that understand the techniques of engagement and pulling those together to create immersive worlds that go beyond anything we normally see. And it really takes both. It takes the art and the science to pull it all together.